Hey guys, this video that we're about to see didn't really start as I expected it to. I would have expected it to begin in a woodland field up at Prentice Cooper the next weekend I was up there if it was going to happen this year. Instead, here I am at Bunker 27 of one of my favorite natural places to walk, uh, Enterprise South Nature Park here in North Hamilton County. And while I was out filming some of the vegetation that I'm watching here as part of another series, the star of this film just happened to fly up and land on my hand and give me the, the idea for this video. So stay tuned. What I was actually out filming today is the current development of the persimmons and showing how they're just developing a little bit of a blush. But then these guys started popping in. And you can hear another one over my shoulder. And it gave me an inspiration for a whole different video. Now, if you're allergic to bees, Sometimes these guys can make you nervous, but this is not a bee. This is a bee fly, and you can tell because it has fly eyes. That's what gives it away. And they're harmless to us, other than they can be pesky. But bee flies come in lots of different colors. Some of them are camouflaged like bumblebees, and some of them are camouflaged like yellow jackets and hornets. And they're pretty interesting little fellows to spend some time observing. But they can be very, very loud when they're buzzing around you. And that, and their camouflage of looking like bees, is their defensive mechanism. You can see how brightly colored some of them can be. But their eyes are what tell the story. They have fly eyes rather than bee eyes. Hopefully that comes in clearly there. Thank you, little guy, for helping me with my video. This little guy here is another bee fly. Looks like a sweat bee, but his fly eyes give it away. This little guy is another bee fly. You can tell by the eyes and the wings in this case. Bees have two sets of wings, flies have one. But the stripes and the shape and the buzz all still mimic the bee. Well, as you can see, we got rained out here at the field today. So there is no getting video of the honeybees flying. Honeybees won't fly in the rain. You can take a close look at the still shot that I uh, put for the video. You can see the hairs around the, uh, the bees' eyes and water drops get in those and, and cause too much refraction. They won't fly. That's why you'll sometimes find honeybees piled up together asleep on, on a flower, two or three of them sometimes on a passion flower, single bees, sometimes in different nightshade flowers, and they can't fly in the rain. One thing I'd like to add is if, to help the, the people that are allergic to bees be less stressed out, if it's trying to land on you, 
even if it looks like a bee, it's more likely a fly. Bees aren't predisposed to like to land on people. Every once in a while, honeybees will, if you smell sweet, if you spelt soda or Kool-Aid or something like that on you or have it on your hands, but for the most part, it's flies that are drawn to body heat and drawn to the different smells of the human body or any other body for that matter. So hopefully um, this video will help alleviate some of the stresses for some of the people that are allergic to bees and hopefully everyone learned a little something and maybe next time I'm out on a sunny day I can get some footage of the honeybees on the flowers. I'm working on adding video to my flora database and my, my insect and animal flora fauna database and all of that. You know, 30 years I've been a still photographer and a writer. Video is something that's completely new to me so I'm still working on that. But every time I find a target of opportunity or something that will I think will be great to put in a future video, I shoot the video and, and, and stockpile it for a later use. But join us next time and we'll see what I'm getting into then.